my level. What is up, peeps? This is FC Liver TV HD, and today we are doing a squad build. I recorded this with my camcorder, and I'm doing a commentary over it now. This is my first time trying it, so please leave a like if you enjoyed this, and I'll probably do some more. So, this team, oh my god, after using it, it's absolutely excellent. I love it. Uh, I don't know the price of it yet, but um, I will put the price up. But, yeah. Let's see if I actually get into the squad builder. So, the striker is the main guy you see on the thumbnail, and that is Ross McCormack, the second informed version. Cheaper than the first informed for the reason that he's a gold player, not a silver. His shot is absolutely excellent. All I want to do is shoot. Every time he gives me the, every time I give him the ball, I just want to shoot. I don't know why. I feel the urge to. His shot is absolutely, he has a bullet of a foot. And my god, he is a great player. Cost me 50,000 coins, 77 pace, and 79 dribbling. We've got 74 passing. He would make a good center attacking midfielder. Um, but I decided to use him as a striker in this team because my center attacking midfielder is a very good one. And uh, yeah, so Ross McCormack, absolutely great player. And I enjoyed using him a lot. What the hell am I doing? <laughs> <laughs> oh god yeah so i enjoyed using him and um yeah also he has a very uh very good at heading for some reason i don't know why 68 heading um but uh, i remember one time i actually done an over the top through ball the glitch goal and he beat the keeper with a header so i was quite shocked about his heading uh i do feel confident when crossing it into them into him sorry through the box but he's five foot nine i'd rather not i just cut it inside and i shoot with that beautiful beautiful shot of his so that is what the team is based around, this main guy, Ross McCormack. So now, we are going to go into the goalkeeper, and I'm going to search up silver goalkeepers here, and his name is uh, Kashak. Um, he's actually a very good keeper. He's got some decent stats for a 74 rated keeper. I always look for a good keeper when I look at him. I think he's a Polish, and he's an absolute excellent keeper. He's six foot three, and he's a traditional uh, keeper, right footed one for 750 coins. As you can see, I've only played two games of this when I showed the squad, but I did play a few games afterwards, and I'll tell you my view of the squad then. So this guy was very good for me, and I did enjoy using him. And uh, yeah, so we're going to go to the center back here. Now, I had to choose between these three. First off, I decided to choose the one on the left, um, the Jamaican one. What's his name? Doily, I think it is, if I can see. Um, so, yeah, I chose him, but I realized he's 5 foot 10. So, it wasn't good enough for me, so I chose this man here, Boyce, who I found was excellent. Ignore the pace. If he's 65 pace or above, if anyone's 65 pace or above in a center back, get them, they will do the job for you. But, yeah, I actually quite liked him. He's very good in the air, very strong, and very, very powerful. Uh, I think he's six foot medium, medium work rates. But yeah, he was very solid for me, much better than uh, Doily. And then next to him was Williams. He's probably the best centre back of the two. I just enjoy them overall, especially with his high defensive work rate, six foot two. And I got him for 400 coins, so it's very, very cheap. And this guy is definitely worth it, so uh, grab him. Uh, he's actually excellent. I had to choose between a few centre-backs, but uh, these two were the best ones I found in that league. Uh, there are ones that you may think are better, but uh, these two are the ones I chose, and I don't regret choosing them at all. So, uh, we're going to go into the left-back, which is, I think his name is Traore. Uh, pronounced the same as the Everton striker, I think that's right. Or Traore, however it wants to be. But he's six foot one, which is excellent for a left-back. He's got 85 pace and 900 coins. He's not the best in the team team but he does the job uh high low work rates means he does go into the attack a lot he has left a lot of open spaces on the left side at the back which is kind of a bad thing because a lot of people can go down the wing um and it, it's obviously the op heading you need some left back or right back who can somehow stay back even if they do go forward so the low work rate isn't great um but i, I did enjoy him uh and he did fit the team so i'm not complaining the next one is the i think it's the belgian right back delay it i think it's pronounced again six foot one high medium work rates he costs 2500 coins this is because you think he's the fastest and probably overall the best uh, right back in the fl championship but I did enjoy using him a lot. The fact that both my left back and right back are six foot one is good because any near post crosses, they both can stop it. As you can see, both of them are six foot one, and yeah, I did enjoy using them too. And I, I I'm not going to change any of them. Uh, so uh, after I put these two in, this is the defensive lineup. I'm going to finish it off with uh, Chaloba, I think his name is. And I was quite shocked to use him. Don't question why I have uh, Maestro chemistry style on him. I bought him that way. <laughs> Not the best chemistry, chemistry style for a centre defensive midfielder. But his heading and defending, I know it's quite weak on his card. But it was actually very good. He was very good in the air. Uh, six foot one is probably one reason why. And his defending was also pretty good. I got him for 400 coins. And God, he is a good player. I mean, I had to choose between quite a few centre defensive midfielders. 
and uh, there are other ones with better stats but I was looking for someone with a bit of height as well as decent stats and he was one of the tallest so I chose him and now this guy is an absolute monster I think it's Drenthe or Drenthe however it's pronounced he's 5 foot 6 I think or 5 foot 8 I'm not sure I can't see properly high low work rates which is perfect for an attacking player and Goddy has a bullet of a shot he has 90 shot power his long shots are absolutely beautiful he is undoubtedly the best player on this team and god he's worth it 5,500 coins I got him for honestly he is worth about 30,000 coins he should be worth that he absolutely is absolutely excellent the best silver card I think I've used ever anyway central attacking midfielder we have Fabrini one bad thing okay you can see right there he has a high defensive work rate medium attacking work rate but for some reason I enjoyed it I really did doubt it and I really did think that it, would, uh, it wouldn't pay off and it wouldn't work out. But I loved it that the fact that he did go back when I needed him to go back. But for some reason, he also did go forward. He was very good forward. And he did go forward when I needed him. Won a few headers with that 60, uh, no, 6 bleh, with that. I think it's 62 heading and he's 6 foot tall, which is always good for a, a central player. You always need someone quite tall. Bought him for 1,900 coins. And he's the Italian maestro there. So he's pretty good. I, I did enjoy him a lot. Anyway, right mid. I had to choose between uh, this fella here and Kebe. And, um... I didn't like the, uh, the first one. I can't really see his name. Oh, God, my screen just went blank there. But I chose Kebe, and, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't regret it. He's absolutely excellent. Six foot two for a right midfielder of 92 pace and 75 dribbling. Four-star skill moves, one for 2,400 coins. And, wow, he's absolutely excellent. He's the man I'll always cross the ball out to. Whenever I've got a goal kick, I'll just go down the right side of the window, cross the ball to him, and he will win headers. He's in the box, penalty area. Even though his heading isn't excellent, he's still in the penalty area in corners because of his height. And, God, this is, I think this is the transferred version of Kebe as well. There is one in the actual BPL. So, if you want to use him in the BPL, Silver Squad Builder, you could put him in there. He plays for Crystal Palace in there. But he transferred to Leeds uh, in the winter transfer window. So, this guy is this probably the second best player in this team Emnes not so tall 5 for 11 medium low work rates which is really good uh, 2700 coins I think that is and god this guy has a bullet of a shot his pace is good that is secure his pace and uh, his dribbling feels a lot better than 73 feels around 80 I think uh, 67 shooting is 64 passing his passing is very good uh, he's done a lot of good over the top through balls for me and I did enjoy using him with that uh, his heading as well, he does win a few headers, so uh, yeah, this guy is absolutely excellent, he is OP as fuck, I'm not joking, if you're looking for a, a, a Netherlands striker, go and grab him because he will not let you down, so that is the team, it's an absolutely excellent team, I do enjoy using it and it is my number one team, so yeah, let's get into a game. Okay guys, time to get into the highlights. Now the first thing I want to say is that this squad is absolutely beautiful. Look at that nice chip goal there by Emnes. And my god, it is one of the best teams I've used in uh, FIFA 14 Ultimate Team. I'm not going to remove it. A lot of the squads I make I actually don't remove if I like it. If I don't like it, I'll remove it. But again, look at that goal by McCormack. Nice little finesse shot there. Beautiful goal. But okay, let's get into this. Uh, the goalkeeper, uh, Kushak, I think it is. Um... Yeah, he. I didn't have any problems with him. There was a not. There was no time where uh, he let me down at all. And I do you not. Know, I applaud his performances in the games. And he was very good for me. So again, I have no no issues with him. He's a very solid keeper. He wasn't superb, but he did make a lot of saves where um where I where I, well where he needed to save them. So that that's very good. Good keeper. And I do recommend him. Yes. Okay. Centre backs now. Boyce. He was very very strong as I said. Uh, very powerful. I did like that about him. And uh, he was very good, very, very solid for me. I think he scored a header in the air from a corner. So he is good in the air and he is reliable. But my favourite centre-back is Williams. Look at that goal, by the way, from Emnes. Oh my god, I could not get over that goal. That goal was absolutely excellent. But yeah, look at that. What the fuck? Someone actually sent me a message going, what the fuck to that goal? Because it was that good. Anyway, um... Yeah, back to the uh, centre-backs. Williams, he was very good for me, and I did enjoy using him a lot. Uh, he was the better of the two centre-backs. Uh, I think he did get a, a very strange uh, header uh, from uh, a corner. You'll probably see it later on in the highlights for me. And it was it was very good, actually. It was quite an quite impossible header to reach and score, but he did. So, again, uh, that's very good for him for a centre-back. Uh, Left-back, I didn't see much of him in the games. He was very silent, as you can tell um, in these highlights. Look at that long shot, but yeah... Uh, in the highlights, you can tell the try, or you don't even see him really. Uh, same with Delayet, but they were there defensively when I needed him, and uh, he was very good for me. Um, so yeah, the left backs and right backs are very solid and very good, very tall as well. So they were good when it comes to the uh, the, uh, the the post uh, crossing op. Anyway, 
Uh, two at the centre defensive mid, Chalabar, I think his name is. He was very good for me, actually. He won a lot of headers in the air, which is very good for a centre defensive mid because that's what they need. A lot of the uh, goalkeepers cross out the ball into the area where the centre defensive mid will be. And he won a lot of headers and his passing was very good. Very good over the top through balls uh, and very good passing. Strangely, he has 62 passing, but it was a lot better than uh, than what I thought it would have been. So he, he surprised me with his passing. It was very good. One of the best centre defensive mids in that league for me. So I did, uh, I did enjoy using him, yes. Um... Left mid, uh, Drenthe, I think it is. He's absolutely amazing. God, he's absolutely excellent. You'll see a nice goal, I think, near the end of the game. Uh, so the end of the uh, highlights. I think it's the last goal in the highlights where he absolutely scores a beautiful skill run. And it was excellent. Look at that goal there as well by Drenthe. He's absolutely awesome. The best left mid I've used in the game. The best silver left mid ever. And he is absolutely excellent. I'm so, so happy I discovered him and figured out... Um, Figured it out. Figured him out. Sorry. So uh, I'd never regret buying him. I recommend him. Extremely recommend him to you guys because God, he is well a god. <laughs> anyway, let's go to the right mid Kebe. Very good actually. Surprised me as you can see. He done a, a few skill runs. He done a his pace is absolutely excellent for six foot two. Uh, you would uh, kind of think that his height would kind of make him feel slower, but it didn't. He could take off rapidly, and God, he was amazing. So I did like Hebe a lot. Uh, Four-star skill moves is really good, especially out on the players on the wings. So, yeah, I did enjoy using Kebe, and um, it's, he's absolutely a great player. Uh, so let's go to uh, Fabrini now. Fabrini was really, really good. Um, he helped set up a, a quite a few goals. He's the most assists in my team, I think. I'm not sure. But uh, yeah, I did. I did like him a lot, and I did. Uh, I did think that he was quite crucial in the game, and his passing was definitely what made him uh, important to this game. His passing was excellent. Shot his shot is pretty good. It's not amazing, but uh, yeah. Don't uh, if you have the chance to shoot with him, go ahead and have a crack. He's not gonna. He's not gonna fail you. So uh, McCormack, his shot, as I said, is a bullet. Do not, you do not, sorry, want to come against him. If he's one-on-one uh, -on, -one on the keeper, he will always score and he will always finish. He's absolutely insane player. I might do a review on him, I'm not sure yet. But, um, yeah, Emnes. Oh, God, what I've got to say about him. He's absolutely excellent. I think he's a top scorer in my team. And uh, I, I love giving the ball to him. I'm so confident and I absolutely love it. So, uh, yeah, that is the team. As you can see, that was the beautiful goal. And here comes the magical raid, magical yeah rage quit uh i hope you enjoyed uh this video and if you want to see more leave a like down below and uh yeah that's really it so uh thanks for watching guys and peace